last week we got in two new sharks. They're sandbar sharks. There's an aquarium out in Tempe, Arizona, and their, their sharks outgrew their tank. So they were looking at a new home for them, and we were happened to be looking for some, some new sharks, and our tank is big enough. So we did a trip out there to pick up their sharks. <laughs> Getting sharks here, you know, in the desert is very challenging. We have special shark boxes that we put them in. We have harnesses that we attach to them. Sarah, yes. Come get wet. Uh, we keep oxygen in the water. Scoot them out, run them up the stairs, give them to the divers, let them go in the uh, uh, we're house. And we keep an eye on them uh, to transport them out here. From the truck, from getting back here, we have shark stretchers. We remove the harness from them, we slide the stretcher underneath them, and basically we carry them up the stairs. Uh, we have an elevator, but the elevator is too slow. It's faster for us to run up the stairs and better for the animals to get into, back into the tank and into the water as soon as possible. So that's how we transfer them up. When we put new sharks or any new animal into these tanks, uh, it changes the, the dynamics in the tanks. There's new animals, they're not used to the tank. The other fish, you know, aren't used to these these animals. So it throws the dynamics in the tank off a little bit. And it takes a little while for them to get used to each other in the tank. We uh, individually feed our sharks. Uh, we give them a certain amount of food, a certain amount per week, so that they stay healthy. They get supplements and vitamins in the food that we give them. So, uh, it's something that we have to get used to with these new sharks and they have to get used to with us. They're on display for the general public from opening to closing. They can see them every day.